Join me and come and make this essential string shopping bag from Paintbox Yarns. You've got long handles, short handles, and we can do both if you like. Grab your hook and let's get started. Right, let's have a look at this brilliant project. It's so much fun. This is the Paintbox Essential String Shopping Bag. You can make it with um, two balls of lovely Paintbox Recycled Cotton Worsted, which is a fantastic, really hard working, tough cotton. Also very good for face cloths and washcloths um, and all kinds of kitchen things that you might want to make. And so it's super strong, which is great for these lovely shopping bags. Now there are three different handle options. So you can either make it with a short little handle like this. You can make it with long handles like that. Or you can do both. You can make it so that it has long handles and short handles, um, which gives you the option carrying it like that or popping it over your shoulder. And the, it's such a, a fun pattern to make. You start at the bottom making a circle with US single crochet, UK double crochet in a circle, which I'm going to show you how to do that. Then we change over to pick up the stitches around here to make the mesh of the bag. And then when we get up to the top, we add on a single crochet US, double crochet UK uh, handle with a little bit of magic up here to make the actual handly part. It's great fun. So let's have a look at how we're going to start. Pop those out of the way. Now you'll need two balls of paint box recycled cotton worsted and the reason that we need two balls is that when you've done the base of the bag we change straight away at that point onto the second ball because you don't want to have to be attaching new yarn when you're doing that sort of mesh lace work as you go up the top of the bag. So um, we're going to kick off with, this is how much I've got left having made the base of the bag which I'll show you in a minute. We're going to start off, I've got a uh, four millimetre crochet hook here. I'm using four millimetre because I know what my tension is like. The pattern actually calls for a 4.5 millimetre crochet hook. And you can follow along with the pattern. Remember, it's a free pattern download. Paintbox patterns are always free. And we'll put a link to that uh, in, uh, in the comments underneath. And we start off with a magic ring. Now, if you haven't made a magic ring before, let me show you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward. So you let the yarn dangle over your hands like that, and then I'm going to bring it up and around into a cross. Then you put your hook underneath, grab the loop and twist it, and then just hold it with your other fingers. And I'm going to do chain one. Now, when you have a look at the loop like that, it's got the working yarn, the one that's attached to the ball, and then the tail of the yarn. And we're going to crochet some single crochet US, double crochet UK, into this ring. So we're going to start off with six single crochets UK, uh, single crochet US, double crochet UK, six into here. So we put the yarn, I'm going to take my hook, pull up a loop and I'm just holding the bottom of the magic ring in my fingers there. Yarn over and pull through. So that's one. Pull up a loop. Two. You can see the ways these are sitting in the loop like that. Two. Three. Four. And it does look a bit scrappy, but don't worry about that. Five. Six. And it's really important that you go over both the um, the working yarn, the, the, the side of the ring and your little tail here. I'm going to make that little loop a bit bigger. And then 
I'm going to pull the tail of the yarn and as I pull it, it will bring this into a beautiful little ring. So as I start pulling, the magic happens and it pulls it into a little circle. And the reason that we use this magic loop, uh, magic ring like this, is because it enables you to have no hole at the bottom. So it closes completely. Right, so I put my hook back in. So when we make the bottom of this bag, we're going to work in a spiral. So you don't need to join every time you get to the end of a round. What you might want to do is to put a stitch marker in here so that you know what the beginning of your round is, but we're just gonna work in a spiral. So the first row, first round I should say, is that we're going to put two single crochet US, double crochet UK into each stitch in the little circle. So I'm gonna just go through both legs of the stitch like that. We're gonna put two double crochet UK, single crochet US in there. One, two. Now, when these things are this small, it is always a bit fiddly, but it speeds up pretty fast. So I'm gonna put two into the next stitch, two into the next. And what you're doing here is you're increasing the number of stitches. So you started off with six, and we're gonna put two stitches in each stitch and end up with 12. If you need help learning how to work a single crochet US or a double crochet UK, we've got a video for that. So you can go and have a proper go and learn how to do it before you start this project. Now I'm just gonna count the stitches round now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we've, that's the first round done. We've got 12 there. Now notice, We've ended up with a little hole in the middle here. If I just pull the tail of the yarn, that closes. So don't worry about that. If you end up with a little hole, when you've finished, you can come back and sew this end in to secure that nicely. So that is round one. Second round, we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then one in the following stitch. So this is how these rounds work. So I'll show you how we do that. So we put two into the next stitch, one, two, and then the following stitch just gets one. And we repeat that all the way around. So we do two, one, two, and then one, two, and then one, and then one. And the reason why it works like this, and this is why also it's good to put a little, um, stitch marker here so you know, I know because I'm following my little tail behind there, but when you do this, if you put a stitch marker at the beginning of the round, then you know when you've completed the round and you just move it each time. Um, the reason why we don't just continually go around in a spiral um, and we the increases go every other round is because if you just carried on round and round, you'd end up with an egg cup and it would just curl up into a sort of a, a cup shape. And we need the base of the bag to be flat. And this is why the increases are done um, very, very gradually spaced out around the circle. And that makes sure that it's nice and straight and flat. Okay, so the next round, round three, is slightly different. It is, we're gonna put a single crochet US double crochet UK into the next stitch and then two in the following one. So it's really the reverse of what we did before. So we just put one and then into the next stitch, two. And then we repeat that all the way around. One into the next stitch 
and two into the following stitch. And this, whoopsie, and this is how the bag, sort of the base of the bag grows. One, and two into the next one. One and two. Now, I'm not going to complete that whole round, but just to show you, this is how the base of the bag grows until you get to, I think it's something like 19 rounds where you're working nine stitches and then two and then nine stitches and then two. So it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I'll show you. Here we go. This is my completed lilac base. I've got a pin in there just to show me where the beginning of the round is. Um, but this is the full 19 rows where and it just will take us, just follow the pattern round by round. It'll show you exactly in the pattern how many to increase for each repeat as you go until you end up with the 19 rows of the base of the bag. And now we're going to start to work up the sides with that lace work mesh. For the mesh of the bag, which is coming up the sides of the bag, and I'll just show you with this blue, lovely blue one here, you can see that it's just a, a, a combination of chains and single crochet US, double crochet UK, to make this lovely sort of lacy mesh that's going to carry up the sides of the bag. We start with a new ball at this point because you really don't want to be weaving ends in as you're coming up through that mesh. So, here we go, let's just break that open. Let's check, this one is called Lavender Cream. That's lovely, isn't it? Uh, this one, which is one I was going to use earlier, actually, um, is honey. There are some great colours in these paint box recycled cottons. Absolutely brilliant. Right, so I'm going to just pull through. I've picked up, this is the, the base and that's my last stitch with a long tail coming out. And I'm just going to pull the new yarn through um, and pull that tight. Now later on, I will stitch that in really, really neatly. Right, so there's the working yarn behind me. So the first thing that we do with the setup round, which is the first round, just pull a bit of that out, we work one double crochet US, uh, sorry, one double crochet UK, which is a single crochet US, into the next stitch there. That secures that. Then we chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip three stitches. One, two, three. So we're going to work into the fourth one there. And we put in a double crochet US, a double crochet UK, single crochet US. So that is the beginning of our little mesh. So I'm going to now repeat that 29 times. So we do one, two, three, four, five, we skip three, one, two, three, and then we put in a single crochet US, double crochet UK. So we go again, one, two, three, four, five and then we one two three we skip three and work into that fourth stitch with a single crochet US double crochet UK so you can see what's happening now getting the bottom of that mesh coming along one two three four five skip three one two three and work the stitch one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, and work the 
single crochet your S into the next stitch. See how that's coming along there. Let's just unravel a bit more of this. Now this is the setup row for the mesh that is going to repeat it all the way up the bag. Just pull that through. So the recycled cotton, because it is recycled cotton, it's quite a rustic cotton. It's not a sort of cotton that you'd make yourself something to wear out of. It's the sort of cotton that works really brilliantly on a dishcloth or a face cloth. Three, four, five, and then I'm going to skip three. One, two, three, and work into the fourth. Put in a single crochet US. One. Now I'm going to work all the way around this and I shall meet you back at the beginning. So what we've done is we've worked that round of the setup row for our mesh all the way around and when you get to the end here we're going to chain two and then we're going to secure to the very first stitch of the row with um, a US double crochet, a UK treble, and we do that with a yarn around into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn around, pull through two, yarn around, pull through two, and that creates our last loop. So let's get started with the next stitch. Right, so now we're ready to work the next stitch. So remember, this is where we left off. We had the double crochet US, which is a UK treble, is how we ended up joining the round. So we're going to work a chain and then we're going to work one US single crochet, UK double crochet into the top of that treble, treble UK double crochet US. So I've just put one single crochet into the top. Then what we're going to do is we're going to work five chains and secure them onto each of these loops as we go round. It's a really simple, very similar to what we did before. So we do one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to put a US single crochet, UK double crochet into, just hook it into that loop and I've just sat it there in the middle. If you really want to you can go through the stitch but you don't have to. And then we're going to do another one. One, two, three, four, five and then we're going to put it into the next loop with a US single crochet, UK double crochet and again one, two, three, four, five, and we work the single crochet, UK double crochet, into the next loop. So we're anchoring this mesh, the net stitch, as we go round, looping it and attaching it with a US single crochet, UK double crochet, into every loop. Let's do another one. One, two, three, four, five and then we get the next one here next loop and work the stitch one two three four five and secure it into the next loop with the stitch now this is net stitch if i show you on one that we already have here you can see how that's worked so it started off with these, in fact, let's look at it on a lighter one, that might be a bit easier, there we go. So you can see how we started off with the loops coming round here, and then the next row, it's attaching to the middle of each loop. And I wanted to show you on these samples here, the stitch doesn't go right through a stitch, it's just attached to the loop. If you want to attach it to a stitch, you can, but it's perfectly happy just sitting, working your single crochet US, double crochet UK, just into the loop like that. And you need to now work 22 rounds of 
next stitch till you get to the point where your bag is deep enough and then we're going to work onto the handles. So I've got some work to do. I'll see you in 22 rounds. Right, so here we are, 22 rounds later of your lovely net stitch. We'll give you this great, lovely bag. There's the bottom, remember what we started off with, and then I've done the 22 rounds. Now you can see that it's starting to come out a little bit. So how we bring it in, instead of doing a sort of a, um, a generic kind of decrease row, what we do is we do the net stitch but we change it slightly. We do the next stitch with instead of five chains taking us onto the next section, we're going to do four and then the following row has three. So we're going to start off as we have done in the others where we work. So you've got to the end of the row and you've done your single crochet US, double crochet UK into the treble that we finished with, the double crochet UK. And this time we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then work into the next net. And so one, two, three, four. And then put the stitch into the next net loop. And so instead of working five stitches, we're going to work four stitches. And that will make these loops smaller and will begin to bring the top of the bag inwards. So we're going to do a whole round of net stitch with four chains and then we're going to do another round with three chains. But I'll meet you at the end of this four chain round. Okay, so I've just got round to the end of that round where we've done four chains instead of five and I've come back again to the beginning and remember every time we come back to the beginning of the round what we do is we chain two and then we put a UK treble which is a US double crochet into the top of the stitch chain one and then put a US single crochet UK double crochet Oopsie, into the top of that double crochet US it's triple UK. Now for the next round, so it's the same as every other round. So the next round, we're going to work the whole net stitch again, but this time with three chains. So I'm just going to one, two, three, and you can start seeing how this is pulling and then a US single crochet, UK double crochet into the net as we've done before. You can see how this is starting to bring the top of the net stitch in so that it's not as flared out as it was at the beginning. So you can see I'm just working three chains and then putting a stitch into the loop. One, two, three, and then putting that stitch in. You can see that that's really beginning to pull the, the, the net in. So I'm going to work all the way around with three chains, net stitch with three chains, and I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, so there we have, we've been putting the three in, so it's really starting to bring the bag in. We're going to do the same round again. We're going to do three chains, one, two, three, and then hook it into the three chains. One, two, three, and then put it into the middle of the three chain net stitch. One, two, three, and then into the middle of the three. And this is sort of really bringing it nice and neatly up to the handles. One, two, three, and into the chain from the previous round. So I'm going to work all the way around with this last chains of three stitches, three chains to, to tie it in. And then as soon as we have that, we can start work on the handles. 
So we're going to look at the handles. So we've got to this point on our lovely little lilac one down here. We've got the two rows of three chain nets, which has brought up a nice sort of brought us in a little bit. And now we've got the situation where we're going to put on the handles. Now there's two kinds of handles you can put on. There are these little short carry handles. Uh, and this is all built in US single crochet, UK double crochets. So it's super easy to do. And then you also have an option for long handles. And actually, these are done in pretty much the same way. You work along. We're going to do a couple of rows of US single crochet, UK double crochet as we go along to build this sort of little band. Then we work this next round and then we come up to this point and we just put a chain in and then we skip these stitches, attach the chain and then the next time we go round we add stitches to the longer chain or to the shorter chain. Now if you really want to push the boat out you can have both. So it gives you the option of carrying with your hands like that or making a longer strap to go over your shoulder. And if you do that, then these longer straps are just made and stitched in um, to secure afterwards. Or well, actually, they're attached as you go. Um, so you've got a couple of choices there, but they are they do follow the same principle. So I think let's put on the short handles. Before we even get to the short handles, the first thing we need to do is to put, to build a foundation of single crochet US, double crochet UK, all the way around the top of the bag. And we do that by just putting our stitches straight into the chain spaces all the way along. So I chain one and then I'm going straight into the chain, one, two, three. and then into the next one, one, two, three. So it's just working into those chain threes and you miss out the one that's got the single crochet there because it sort of pulls it in slightly more. One, two, three. And as you work your way around, you're putting in your single crochet US, double crochet UK, all the way around, which gives you the stitches to be able to come around the top again one more time. So I'm going to see you when I've done two rows of single crochet US, double crochet UK, all the way around the top. Now to make the handle of our bag, remember last I saw you I did two rounds of US single crochet, UK double crochet, all the way along the top of the bag and that just gives us a nice even base to work on. And this the slightly smaller version here um, is just an illustration of how that works. So what we're going to do is that we are going to work in single crochet US, double crochet UK until we get to where we want the handle to be. Then we chain 22 stitches and we skip 22 stitches and then we carry on all the way around. We do the same on the other side and then when we come back we're going to work over that chain. So let's have a look at how to do it now. And all the details of the numbers are going to be there for you in your pattern. Remember, it's a free pattern download that's in the, in the um, comments below. So I'm going to chain one. And then for the pattern, I'm going to chain, sorry, I'm going to uh, work 19 stitches across. Now, what I'm going to do here is just do a couple to show you and then I'm going to meet you again when I've done that 19. So you just work into the single crochet US, double crochet UK that you had before. So I'll see you again when we've done that 19. So now I'm ready to make the chain for the bag. So we've done the 19 stitches there and I'm going to chain 22. One, two, three, Four, six, 
18, 19, 20, and two more. Now, if you're going to make the long handled bag, you're doing exactly the same thing, but you're just making a much longer, longer chain. So it's the same principle whether you're making the short handles or the long handles, and this is how we do it. So now I'm going to count 22 stitches along here and we're going to skip those. So the first stitch is there with, a, with the handle in it. So I'm going to count from the next one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So that is my skipped 22. And I'm going to put the next single crochet into the next stitch there. And then, so there you can see that's where our handle is going to go. Then we're going to work another 38 stitches. Um, I'll just talk to you while I do that. Um, and this is between the handles. Um, and then when we get round to the other side, we're going to put in another handle in just the same way that we have there. And as I say, if you're going to do the bag with the long handles or a combination of handles, it's the very, very same process. So I won't show you the long handles on this video, but it's the same thing. You just work a longer set of chains. And let's have a little count up, see where I am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Actually, let me meet you when we get to thirty-eight, or you'll just have to watch me wittering. Now I've got to the place on the opposite side of the bag where I'm going to put in my twenty-two stitches on the chain. If you remember that. One, two, three. And then, as we did on the other side, I'm going to count 22 stitches here and then reconnect. Uh, from that's got a stitch in it. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's the 23rd stitch there. So I'm going to, with my chain there, reconnect into that stitch. And then you'll see You've got your handles at exactly the same place either side. So I'm just going to work the rest of the way around and by the time we get back I'm going to follow you around now and meet you over on the other side of the bag to show you what we do with this handle. So it's single crochets all the rest of the way around and I'll meet you back here. So here we are ready to start the next row of the handle. Now instead of working our stitches into each chain, we're going to be working into the chain space like we did before. So I'm going to put my hook into the chain, pull up a loop and, chain, and, and make a single crochet US double crochet UK. And we're going to work these stitches over the handle like that. So I'm going to pull it up over, yarn over and pull through. And we're going to work 22 stitches over this chain. And the reason we do that is because it gives you a nice edge there to hold on to rather than to work into the chain. So we're going to work 22 single crochet UK double crochet over this chain and when we get back here we're going to work all the way around in single crochet UK, uh, single crochet US, double crochet UK, all the way around to the other side of the chain and do the same thing there. So I shall meet you when we've gone all the way around. 
So coming back round now, so I've been over both handles. It's, like, it's not very straight for you there, sorry. Um, as we've come over both of the handles now, I'm just coming back on another round of single crochet US, double crochet UK, round again. And this time, um, so this is the next round. When you come up, the only difference here is that when you come up here, you're going to double crochet, um, decrease two together, just either side of the handle. And we do that on both sides. So I'm just going to show you, and all the numbers and everything are in the pattern. So don't worry, when you get there, when you're doing this from the pattern, you'll see it all written down. But on this fourth row, I think it's already, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, fifth row of single crochet US, double crochet UK, you'll see this written. So we're going to decrease by stitching these two stitches together. So I'm going to single crochet them together, US, double crochet them together, UK. We put the hook into the stitch and pull up a loop. And instead of finishing it there, we put it into the next stitch and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three. And that is a um, single crochet two together or a double crochet two together UK. And so we're going to do that either side of the handle. Now I'm going to work the double crochet UK, single crochet US all around over the handle again. This time I'm going into the actual stitches rather than going over uh, the chain. So we're actually getting a more of a, um, a nice handle to hold now. And then when we get to the other side of the handle, we're going to decrease two together the other side in exactly the same way. And this just gives you a nice little slope into the handle. So, almost over the handle now. It's a great little bag this because it's you only need to be able to do that one stitch and chain and you can make all of it. I think there's just two US double crochets and UK trebles in there. The rest is all in single crochet US, double crochet UK. So here we are at the other side and we're going to work these two stitches together for a little decrease. So I'm going to put my hook in and pull up a loop and instead of finishing the stitch, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop and then yarn over, pull through all three loops. And that gives us a little decrease on that side too. So now I'm going to work all the way around, do the same thing on the other handle. And after that, it's just one row of single crochet US, double crochet UK, all the way around and we're finished. So I shall meet you at the end. There we have our gorgeous handle, looking really nice and safe and secure there for carrying. Last little thing to do, make sure that you go back into the base of the bag. And remember, this is where we started. And remember, we had that little magic ring at the beginning. If you want to, or you need to, just go and pop a stitch in here to secure that, where you're weaving the ends in. And it's a little bit tough going through this cotton but just make sure that that end is nicely secured uh, so the bag's not going to open up again at the bottom. I think it's very, very highly unlikely that it would, but just for your own peace of mind, just sew that in, sew the end in so that it's nice and secure. Um, and then I'm going to just come back the other side just to make sure that end is well and truly woven in. So it's not gonna come out. And then the only other end I've got is where we changed balls. Actually, I did change the ball when we got into the handle, but it's just this little end. I'm going to just knot it for extra security. There. This is where we changed the ball at the beginning. Um, after we'd done the base of the bag and we changed the ball for the mesh for the net. And I'm just going to um, 
secure that one in as well. And when you are weaving in ends, um, go one way and then go back the other way so that you know it's not going to come undone. There. So once you've sewn in your ends, I'll come back and do that one. There we have a gorgeous, super strong, super secure, lovely cotton shopping bag. So all you need now is to go shopping to the market. And here's my finished bag in gorgeous, lovely lilac. There are some brilliant colours to choose from in the paint box range for recycled cotton. Have a look and tell me which colour you're going to pick and where are you going to take your shopping bag? I'd love to know. Leave me a comment. Tell me all about it. And don't forget to like and subscribe for lots more great tutorials, tips and just general crafting fun. Happy crochet!